Bunions types. Bunions can be hallux valgus, which is bunions of the big toe. There's another type of bunion called Taylor bunions or deformity of the fifth metatarsal. Taylor's bunion is also called bunionette deformity. You may also have an entity called dorsal bunions. So bunions can be hallux valgus, it can be Taylor bunion, or it can be dorsal bunion. Bunions hallux valgus are common foot deformity, and there's a lot of misconceptions about them. People sometimes describe it as a bump on the side of the big toe. This visible bump or bunion is usually associated with a lot of changes in that part of the foot. So the big toe will deviate laterally means points towards the second toe and that will throw the bone out of alignment creating the bunion. It is a progressive problem. It may cause pain or soreness, burning sensation, inflammation or redness. Women are more likely to have bunions than men. It's more prevalent in aging females. Bunions are usually progressive and they don't disappear. The symptoms occur when wearing shoes with tight show box or high heels. Etiology is multifactorial, which include chronic exposure to narrow toe box shoes and maybe some genetic predisposition. The valgus deviation of the proximal pharynx promote various positioning of the first metatarsal, which displaces the metatarsal head medially, leaving the systemoid complex laterally translated relative to the metatarsal head. Treatment of hallux valgus show modification, pads, orthosis, spacers in the first line of treatment. Surgical correction if the symptoms persist despite conservative treatment, including show modification. Type of surgery, it depends on the severity of the condition. Taylor's bunion, bunionette deformity, is a prominence of the lateral aspect of the fifth metatarsal head. It's more common in females. It is usually bilateral, and it has three types. The fifth metatarsal head is enlarged, or there might be a lateral exostosis. Another type, bowing, of the fifth metatarsal. Type 3 is increased 4 and 5 intermetatarsal angle, and this is the most common type. Treatment, non-operative, such as non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, shoe wear modification, orthotics. Surgery is done if conservative treatment fails to relieve the symptoms. In type 1 deformity, you treat it by lateral condylectomy, means excise the bump. In type 2, you do distal metatarsal osteotomy. Type 3, you will do oblique diaphyseal osteotomy if the intermetatarsal angle is more than 12 degrees. Dorsal bunion. Dorsal bunion occur due to dorsiflexed first metatarsal overactivity of the tibialis anterior muscle. The tibialis anterior muscle is an antagonistic muscle to the peroneus longus muscle. So dorsal bunion can occur also due to weakness of the peroneus longus tendon. Dorsal bunion can occur as residual deformity after correction of a club foot deformity. 
the imbalance between a strong tibialis anterior tendon and a weak gastrocnemius soleus complex, which is compensated by strong secondary plantar flexors such as the flexor hallucis longus and previs, will lead to the development of dorsal bunion. And over time, the contracture of these tendons result in plantar flexion of the big toe and the dorsal bunion and the patient complain of deformity such as dorsal callosities and metatarsalgia. The shaft of the first metatarsal is dorsiflexed and the great toe is plantar flexed, resulting in prominent head of the first metatarsal. The condition is usually treated with tibialis anterior lengthening or flexor hallucis longus transfer to the plantar aspect of the first metatarsal head and may be plantar flexion osteotomy of the first ray. In general, dorsal bunion occurs due to a normal tibialis anterior muscle overpowering weak perineus longus, which result in elevation or dorsiflexion of the first ray, and this is usually seen in patients with a history of club foot. Usually, the gastrocnemia soleus is weak due to prior surgery. This is compensated by plantar flexion of the big toe by using the flexor hallucis gravis.